Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the touch bar on any Apple computer. This is an official Apple way and it's originally used by developers, but you can use it in any application so that if you are thinking about getting the new MacBook Pro, you can actually test it out and see if it's actually worth the upgrade. First up, what you're going to do is head over to the App Store. Now up at the very top right, you'll see a box that says search. Type in Xcode. Once you type that, hit enter. And you'll see this page. Click on the top left app. This is designed by Apple. This is an application that allows you to create apps for the Mac, iPhone, and iPad. I go over here and click install. This application is about five gigabytes. So once it's installed, go ahead and click open. When it opens, you'll see a page like this. You don't even have to open Xcode in order to use the touch bar. Go up to the very top and click window and go down and click show touch bar. Now you'll see a fully functioning touch bar at your fingertips. This is application dynamics so that whatever application you're in, it'll change. For example, if I'm in Safari, I can open up the different tabs, click search, or go right into different applications straight from the touch bar. In messages, you'll be able to use all your emojis and it'll have predictions. Over here you can control the volume of your Mac. You can control the brightness as well as mute it and activate Siri. At any time you can just close Xcode and the touch bar stays. I didn't think that I would like the touch bar as much as I did but it's become really useful. For example, if I open up Pixelmator I now can apply different effects. For example, if I want to use my paint bucket, I can go down here and control exactly which color I want, the darkness and the brightness, or choose from pre-selected colors. This is really handy. There are so many other uses for the touch bar that haven't come out yet. It'll be up to the developers to be able to create innovative ways of using this technology. This way is really nice because you can use the touch bar with multiple monitors and drag it around. So if you have your MacBook in clamshell mode, you can be able to use the touch bar even when it's closed. This is also for people that don't have the new MacBook Pro and they can test all the functionality and see if it's worth the upgrade or if they just like to keep their current Mac. This has all the same functionality and it's supported through Apple. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.